New information continues to emerge about coronavirus all the time. And one of the newer effects that we've been hearing about from COVID survivors is hair loss. So we're joined today by Carrie Scalati. She's a nurse practitioner with Beacon Medical Group Main Street Dermatology. Carrie, the hair loss that's being reported by COVID patients two or even three months out is similar um, to a relatively common condition from what I understand. So what can you tell us about this? Yeah, that common condition is called telogen effluvium. It is a triggered event caused by either emotional or physical stressors, things like postpartum, uh, newborns, patients taking or on crash diets, they start them. Maybe medications people are taking or loss of a loved one can create a uh, trigger a T. lesion effluvium. But some things that are more pertinent to our COVID patients are things like high fevers, hospitalization, or other systemic stress. In general, telogen effluvium is really a diffuse thinning of the hair. There's no completely bald spots. There's also an increased amount of shedding, which leads people to be concerned about washing and brushing their hair for fear they're gonna make the condition worse. I, I'm sure many people feel uneasy watching something like that happen. So what do you know or what do we know or what don't we know about the long-term effects? So unfortunately, we don't know a lot about long-term effects of COVID, including hair loss. But what we know about telogen effluvium is that it's a temporary condition and hair growth is expected to return, but it can take up to a year from the trigger. So that can be frustrating for patients. Um, it's also reasonable to consider that ongoing stress can affect hair regrowth which can create something called chronic telogen effluvium, but it's not usually typical. Okay, so what advice do you have for those who are experiencing either this common condition that you're talking about or hair loss uh, as an effect of COVID? Yeah, hair loss is a, is a complicated and a very personable con or personal condition. And it can feel devastating to someone who is experiencing hair loss. And, and that is something that we all can understand. So we recommend anyone concerned with any kind of hair loss to see a dermatologist. We would want to partner with them in their care. We could do a review of their history, do an exam, and then come up with a plan that maximizes their hair regrowth potential because we care about how they feel. We don't want people to feel like they're in this alone. So we would love to see patients. Uh, anybody who's concerned, you don't need a referral to see dermatology at Beacon. Uh, our providers are all accepting new patients at both Main Street and at Ireland Road. So patients who are worried can just reach out and uh, come see us. Carrie, thank you so much. Really important information. You're welcome.